Hello everyone, welcome back to Firewatch. I am Exorf, and I have just been sabotaged by a group of teens. They apparently cut a wire, uh, so we can't contact the outside world. What a shitty thing to do. We're going to find them and scare them home to their mommies and daddies. Uh, I noticed that I can call in about the long drop. I guess I'll do that. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. That is a pickle. I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. Yeah, that's the plan. Back to the lake. Jonesy Lake. Uh, it said that it's like two miles. Again, I don't know what a mile is. Uh, a, a Swedish mile. It's not at all the same as a as an English or American mile, and I think those are two different things as well. I am just clueless. There's an abandoned pack out here, and it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I don't see why not. Bra Brian Goodwin. That feels like a name that I should know. Oh, it's not John or Dave, so. Ha! Huh. Oh! Oh, is that a camera I hear so much about? Flush with ropes now. Yay! That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this! This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Okay. Yeah, let's go with ex-lover. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm. Good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Hmm. Yeah, this is like. <laughs> I really like this idea, but it feels sad that I only have 18 shots because I want to like, I think I've had um, these photo opportunities like three times per episode and I I don't doubt that I'll run out of uh, photos long before uh, the end of the game. But yeah, let's take a screenshot here or a photo I guess. Oh, okay. Is there no sound when you take the picture? I guess that's actually kind of realistic. Uh, uh, I don't remember those cameras being all that loud. Alright. Rappel down. Rappel. Rappel. Whatever it's called. Let's not fall this time. Awesome. Um, wait, what? What? Why can't I? 
Uh, am I stupid? What is going on? I really don't know. Oh, smoke column. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Oh, is the Will sun do. going down? Oh, there's some ropes up there. What's going on there? Okay, I guess that's just some shadow thing. But, so how do I even... Oh, alright. Really? <laughs> okay, I was kind of blind there, I guess. It just looked like I was... Would be able to just walk down that thing. So, okay, I'm going to supply cash. Still with the one, two, three, four, I guess. That something? No, I can't pick that up. Start off by copying the information as usual. Now, all right. Cat come over there. Yeah, and that's where. At the top there is where the cable car went. Supply drop over there. And I just went down those stumps. So I'm at cage 241, yeah. Um, right, so this has actually... We have passed back to uh, Thunder Canyon, I suppose. I'm guessing that's the wrong path. But... Uh, yeah, oh. That's where I want to go. Okay, well then actually it seems like I could take almost any path back there. Uh, but to the west seems more interesting because that's a completely new area. Of course. Well, we'll see where we go. I think I want to start out going south just until we have that cleared out. And that's around this, in this direction. Let's check out the note. Uh, that's June, I guess, 16 June, June 16, 86. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks uh, and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for... L.O.s? Hmm. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself... When you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Uh, I'm, I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Ron. Alright. That seems in line with what uh, uh, Delilah, sorry, I'm bad with names, uh, what she said about uh, about Tron. Whoa. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> well, oh, with that, like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, like a Velociraptor claw? 
Or maybe not. But that feels like something I really want to keep. Huh. Why can't I... I want to keep it. Okay. I guess I want. It's a bit too far to hike back to my my lookout. Uh, no. Alright. That's it then. I'm gonna head in this general direction first. Just to check if there's anything interesting over there. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. Mm. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Uh, yeah, let's start with this. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution and stuff. Evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. <laughs> she sure was. Where does she teach? Yale. Yale? Yep. The Yale. <laughs> Shit, Henry. She flew back and forth. I hated it. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. Okay. We have another cool place here. Oh. You kind of took over control there for a second. Uh, wow, this looks really neat. Let's take a photo, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't want to tell her too much right away. I'm not even sure I trust her, but I mean, it's not like it's going to. If she's up to no good, well, I don't know. Maybe it's unsafe to tell her about my private life. This is a cool place. I want to have a radio conversation about this place. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I know about that. Hmm. Fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. What? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. <laughs> I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. <laughs> sure. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! <laughs> oh yeah, I love this banner. <laughs> it's so nice playing this on Oxen Free back to back. They're very similar in in how the uh, in how the banner works. Like you're just you're mostly just walking through very pretty areas, but uh, but the constant chatter really uh, it's it's just really cool. It makes the world seem a lot more uh, less empty than it actually is. I don't need to head back down there. Uh, we're gonna check this place out first. Because with my luck, probably the other path actually isn't uh, isn't available just now. At least I can tell, see that uh, smoke plume from a very long. Okay, is that a, no? It's not a drop, so it's okay. So I should have no trouble finding my way by using the the smoke signal. You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. I... 
I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Keep waiting for the next rope that breaks. No, oh, alright, there are more. Oh, can I? What was that? Okay, can I cross over? Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Huh. Okay, so I suppose that this is a valid way to get to the that place because I'm certainly heading in the right direction. Let's uh, keep going this way. Before I head down there, I will head back over there. But I certainly won't uh, force you all to sit through all that walking. Oh, also with the music all of a sudden. constant shifting in the colors is just absolutely gorgeous. I might just be heading back to my to my lookout. I guess I might have opened a shortcut then. This is like that the general direction I'm heading in at least. But, like I said, me in general directions, uh, we don't get along. <laughs> I still can't clear any block trails. Hmm, I wonder when I get that tool. Long drop down. Alright. Well, guess we're heading back. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. Mm. What was it like when you guys found out? No. Devastating. Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. I think we're having plenty of fun. Okay, can't say anything, I guess. Oh, man, if it wasn't for that goddamn... Ominous radio call I overheard, and I would feel a lot better with Delilah. Anyway, back to running. Okay, there's a fence over here. Maybe this is what will block me from taking the other path. Because where am I exactly? This is the path I took to get into the burnt forest area. It's a very isolated burnt forest, I guess. So, this is where I would have headed. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. 
That's weird. Oh? I would have assumed she knew about that. Uh Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Hmm. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? <laughs> oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Uh. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's very strange that she doesn't know. Can I check what's in there? So, okay, so it's on the path to Johnson Lake. Hmm. And what would be behind that place? That would be... Wapiti Meadow, which uh, I could get to the other side by uh, rappelling down on that uh, stump thing there. But, uh, and I think that what I want to do is head down here and take those stumps down to Thunder Canyon and then take that way back to Jonesy Lake. I suppose that might not actually be the best path because the best path to follow my creek would be through here, which would mean uh, that I want to. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but this uh, path that I took, found earlier, where I would jump down, leads here, and that's probably a faster way. I have get to get and go down. Shitty boss is going to get me killed here again. So yeah, well, so blah. I'll take us back there, and then we'll resume our travels in the next episode. So until then, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time on Firewatch. Bye bye. So, how'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was, because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. Okay, sorry. Uh, now we're going to end this episode. So, bye-bye.